then uh, let's talk now about um, some of the changes you've seen over the years and what still needs to be looked at. Uh, uh, protests and court cases of the 60s has brought about so much progress. The sad thing is that uh, I do say that um, I, I am saddened that black educators, especially black college teachers now, have not explained to youngsters on college campuses the progress that we have made. Uh, for example, at the University of Missouri, it seems like a lot of requests were made in 1950 uh, for certain things that they wanted. And I'm not sure, but not one of the things probably was that they wanted the president of the university to become black. And so I don't think the kids now, at the University of Missouri, know that one time they had a black president, and he would be one of the first uh, to hold that position of those um, southern states that fought for the Confederacy, or uh, Missouri did not was not a con uh, Confederate state, but it was a slave state. So I, I, I'm really saddened that black educators, especially professors on college campuses, are not telling kids the progress that we have made. Now, is there still racism? Uh, and it will always, and I think it will be racism as long as some people are my color. So how do we deal with it? How do we deal with it on a college campus? How do we deal with it out in the world? I think that um, one of the things that I'd like to see black college professors and anybody else tell black kids to be you know, to respect the work that has been done and emphasize that there's more work to be done, but lift up the greatness that has happened since the 60s and to become activists in our community to get black people out to vote. Voting can change things. Court cases can change things. Protests can change things. But at the same time, you've got to know where you, uh, came from, and we've come a mighty long ways uh, since 1960.